In this video, I'm going to talk about how to melt silver. You can use this tutorial for how to melt gold, copper, aluminum, other metals to make a few extra bucks or do a few little cool projects for your home. And you can do this right in your home with the two auto tool. I picked this one up from Amazon. I'm going to walk you through the steps on how easy it is to melt metals. Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular. Well, everybody, Spectacular, Silver Stacular is here to melt some metals today. This is my goal for the day. I got this machine from Amazon, two days. It is a two auto machine. You can see right there, T-O-A-U-T-O, -O. these machines, this is what a lot of people use when they are trying to melt their silver, gold, uh, does copper as well. So came two days, Amazon Prime, can't beat that. And this is basically the machine right there. I'm going to go ahead and melt some of these little silver flakes that I got inside this little chest of mine right here and I might melt some extra stuff too that I have laying around I got some things that you know like sometimes you get metal and it's just not the prettiest stuff ever here's a little piece right there that's triple nine fine silver that looks like garbage and here's another little piece right there that didn't come out good on another uh, project I was on so I'm gonna melt some of that when you get the machine you can get the ones that have just about everything you need included with them here's some gloves right here so you don't burn yourself because when you're messing with hot metal it's going to be Hot, believe it or not looks like I have uh, an exclusive membership right there look at that that's pretty cool and then I got um, get your little tongs right here so you can put it around the crucible so you don't burn yourself which is gonna be good I got the crucible itself I even get a mold right here so I'm gonna break some of this stuff out and uh, we're gonna melt some silver right here I'm gonna show you kind of the process and how easy it is to use one of these machines um, you can do this in your garage that's where I am right now uh, keep it ventilated for sure I'm gonna use a fan while I do it and uh, like I said, when you get this right here from Amazon, uh, from the Two Auto Company, it's the package right here is like everything you really need to get started. And you, you know, you want to start getting a little bit more advanced. Um, you could get a little stamping kit, which you can get those anywhere. Even Amazon has those. Uh, but as crazy as you want to get, that's your choice. But to get started and at least melting silver, uh, here you go. You can do aluminum too. You find some cans out there recycling. You can get into the aluminum game and just have fun melting metal in your garage. All right, with these machines, you can definitely adjust how hot you want it to go. Uh, most of them are set to be ready to go to melt silver and gold and all that. So let's turn it on and see where it gets to. Um, yes, that should be enough to actually melt silver like we need to, uh, shouldn't be a problem. So in the crucible we have, that came with the machine, we're gonna put uh, some of our silver, we need more than that. So here's a handful of silver. That goes down in the crucible. And my goal is to use this right here, this little graphite mold that came with the whole setup and uh, make a silver bar with this graphite mold. So um, at the end of this video, you're gonna see the piece that I was able to make with this mold and this machine. All right, so I got my fan on for a little uh, fume uh, dissipation there because there's going to be some fumes that might come out of the machine because I am melting metal. So be careful, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. You got some uh, some movement for the air back and forth, and that's what I'm doing right now with the fan. Um, I got, uh, you can see these numbers actually in Celsius right now. So this is the number right here where we're currently at in Celsius. It's uh, 455 degrees Celsius. And this is where the number uh, of the machine is set to straight out of the box, 1150 Celsius. So um, that's enough right there. If it gets that high to melt your, your silver, your gold, your copper, uh, should be no problem right there. So this machine will do that. Some people have said that this machine can't melt copper. I've used it before. Um, I know for a fact it does melt copper. In fact, I got some copper right here that I plan on melting today. So I will be able to do that with this machine. That should be no issues whatsoever. I'm waiting for it to heat up. I wanna show you some other optional things that I went ahead and picked up. Uh, these are just a typical stamping kit right here where you know, A-E-I-O-U, all the vowels and some consonants too are in there. Um, and you can get numbers and whatever you want to go ahead and just put your personal little stamping on a bar. Uh, you're gonna want a hammer to use that. But this is an optional step right here. This is for me to add my own pizzazz onto a bar.
All right, here we go. Moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in there and see what we come up with. I'm going to make sure we get the, the pouring spout in the direction we want it. So turn that around. That'll do. So now there's a little bit of a schmutz right there in the middle. I can clean that up easily with a little sandpaper. Get that out of there. That's just from some impurities with whatever I was melting. No real issue right there. And it'll look real nice. I'm gonna show you the finished product when I get all done with this piece. Boom, look at that. Made with just a real easy to get, inexpensive furnace from Amazon. That thing is fun, huh? It's just so cool that you can go out and, you know, get your metals, your silver, your gold. You know, if you're out there collecting cans on the road, trying to do good for the environment, get some of those aluminum cans and melt those into a brick just for fun. Stamp it out because that's what we do uh, when we're making stuff, right? We put our own little spin on it, and that's what I've done here. Um, you can see that I've stamped a ton of skulls into this bar. I put my own logo stamp on there. Uh, hammered it out real nice and uh, stamped 2023 in there that way we know what year it came from and three nines fine silver because that's what it is and 15 ounces this little beast right here so again inexpensive machine right from amazon the two auto i was able to make this right here and some more too if you want to see some more i don't need no stands they can stand on their own got this little treasure box right here which i actually burnished and made myself pretty much um, so a lot of people say that these machines can't melt copper here actually is a copper bar that i melted and toned up myself so there you go triple nine copper i got my small logo on there and uh, yeah just a neat little copper bar a lot of people don't know this but copper if you want you can go ahead and use a, a blowtorch and you can use that to tone it and you can just keep doing it until you get the desired effect and you can see the rainbow colors that are on the front right there. And copper kind of looks neat. <clears throat> I don't love the smell of it per se. Um, here's actually a big slab. If I can move my pirate ship over. A big slab that I made with the two auto machine um, right there. And that's the one that has John 316 on it. That came from 2022. But yeah, man. And that's just a, you know, is an example right there that you can totally melt copper in these machines. Because how else would I make that? Anyways, let's look and see some of the stuff in this treasure chest right here. Look at that. All toned up by me. All made from the same machine. All made at the same time, too. I just kept on pouring into different molds. So there you go. Nice little round hammered piece. A uh, little star piece that I, I bent up and toned up. All has my logo on there just because that's what I do. I love the toning on these, huh? Isn't that crazy? This is actually silver, believe it or not. You can tone silver to make it look like that with just some simple stuff from around the house, realistically. And there's a like a shield piece right there that I domed and made. What else we got? Another one of those. Those are fun to make. Let's see. Here's a couple other pieces. One's completely hammered out. I mean, those colors right there, I'm not, I'm not fooling with the camera. This is not some kind of trick right there. That is the coloration that you can make it. And that's not me painting it, nothing like that. That is the natural process that happens to silver when it gets in contact with sulfur, is it does tone up like that. And basically what's happening is the sulfur is causing the uh, silver to deteriorate. And if I was to just keep it in a, that mixture for forever, it would start to really wear away at the silver a little bit. It's gonna still be a long process, but um, there's a way to actually tone it and then stop the process of toning so it doesn't cause it to tone any further with that uh, sulfur product on it. And so it just retains that coloration and then boom, there you go. And there it is, the end of the treasure chest. So yeah, I got some cool pieces right there that I was able to, to make with, uh, like I said, the two auto machine. And 
Um, a lot of people, like I said, think that you can't actually melt copper with it. Uh, I don't know how I did it. If you can't do it, I was able to do it right there. Uh, again, pretty inexpensive, comes with everything you really need um, aside from the stamps and you can just get those on your own. Or if you don't want to stamp anything, if you just want to make big, nasty, crazy bricks of aluminum or copper or silver, a lot of times I just put these away and keep them for myself because I like looking at them. And sometimes I resell them. You know, I have some that I sell you know, once in a while here and there. I don't sell everything, but I do make some for sale once in a while. So it's another way to make a couple extra bucks here on your little hobby. Anyways, I got to go for now. Appreciate you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the two auto machine, uh, melting some stuff, really simplistic to use. Spectacular is out. Yeah.